Welcome back to you. This is another episode of Chosune Hunger. And if you are familiar with the show, you know that I am all about teaching you Korean phrases so that you can use these phrases throughout the week to surprise your friends, but also to be able to build up your own Korean skills. So what I'm going to be focusing on today is actually a movie. Now, if you watch some Korean movies, then you may know about one that came out recently called Extreme Job or Kukan Jigop. So this particular movie, it is about a police unit and they're kind of getting into a little bit of trouble. And so the head of the police station that they are at is saying that, you know what, if you don't catch a criminal, then you're out of here. And so the unit is actually a drug unit and they are then setting out to find a way in order where they can catch a particular criminal. The solution that they found is that they're going to set up a chicken shop right across the street from one of the criminals where he lives. So that way they'll be able to observe and keep an eye on this guy and when the time is right, be able to catch him. Now there are a couple of different phrases that I'm gonna pull out from this movie and teach you. The first one, is at the beginning you know i was explaining how they are meeting with the head of the police station that they're a part of that drug unit and at one point in the conversation he gets angry at them and he's just like get out of my office get out get out in this sort of circumstance in korean you would say naga naga or naga which means get out get out of my face that's the sort of uh, atmosphere or the kind of feeling a person has when they say naga 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 the second phrase i'm going to teach you is kind of like saying in english uh oh i got i got goosebumps which you might say when you're afraid, or you might even say it when all of a sudden uh, you get stumped or surprised. So you saw there, the guy came into the restaurant. He's like, hey, what are you guys doing? I can't get in touch. And everyone's like, you know, I'm busy. I'm doing this. He didn't expect that type of reaction to come back to him. So when that reaction comes back, he says, oh, oh, 소름 돋아, 소름 돋아, which is like, I have goosebumps. Okay, so in that sort of situation, that's what you can say. The last phrase I'm going to teach you is when the police officers, the unit that's kind of like they're going undercover, are all sitting in the restaurant, and then suddenly across the street, they see some of the drug dealers through the window. And so they're all sitting down, and then someone stands up and is like, oh, they're here, or they're out there. So in Korean, you would say, oh, tosso, which means like to appear, or they, they, came up, they came up, they popped up. It's almost like putting two D's together, making your D really deep or thick. Those are the three phrases I taught you all today. Check out this video. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you like what uh, you're hearing, then subscribe to our channel. Do bye all.